powerful affirmations. my sister I want to welcome to a new video on self-love in this video I'm going to give you three powerful affirmations that you can use to help you love yourself if you want to love yourself more I need you to pay attention to what I'm about to share with you if you're new to my channel I want to introduce myself my name is Rose Jones and I am a survivor of self-hate domestic violence childhood trauma and I am currently battling PTSD but I decided not to let any of that stop me. Instead, I'm choosing to use my voice to help other women. So I created Let Rose Speak, a community for women who are in their beginning stages of self-love and self-healing. In our community, we help women with skill building. We give them useful tools they can use in their self-love or self-healing journey. We also have educational programs and we love and support each and every one of our sisters. My goal for this page is to help women heal so they can become unstoppable, authentically shine and live life on their own terms and know that they are loved. Most importantly, give you things that actually work, you know, if you would love more content like that, I would really love for you to hit the subscribe button and turn on your notifications. Now, let's get into today's topic, affirmations. Before I give you those three powerful affirmations I use, I want to explain to you what a affirmation is, why it's so powerful, and how to use them. So a affirmation is a simple statement that you use to change a negative thought, experience, or viewpoint from negative to positive. These statements can help you reprogram your subconscious mind. They can help you shift your reality to reflect the statement. For an affirmation to work, you need to believe in the statement that you are speaking and also you have to be willing to repeat that affirmation at least once a day me i personally recommend three times a day some benefits of using an affirmation is that they can motivate you they can change your mindset they can create new belief systems and they're also known to boost your confidence now when you're creating an affirmation you need to write in the first person. Use words like I or I am. Stay in the present moment. Don't refer to the past or the future. Avoid words like I can or I will. Speak as it already happened. Like for example, I'm a person that struggles with speaking as you can see. So I would say your affirmation like, like I am a great speaker and I grab everybody's attention when I speak. Now, for someone that's struggling with self-love, I recommend you saying, I love myself wholly, instead of saying, the love that I have for myself is growing. Yes, the statement is true right now, but you want to speak what you want to accomplish, not what is. I hope that makes sense. If it makes sense, it makes sense, right? If it don't, if it didn't land, just let me know in the comments. I'll explain it to you further. I, yeah, I told you I'm not a great speaker. Now, let's get to those three powerful affirmations. I promise you. Use these affirmations when you're struggling with self-worth. Now, the affirmation is, I am growing and learning new things about myself every day. I am worthy of good things to happen to me. I radiate love. My heart is healed and open to receive unconditional love. I forgive myself for past mistakes and I love myself. I show up for myself every day. I am appreciated, I am celebrated, and I am accepted in love for just being me. That's the first one. Now use this second affirmation when you're struggling with your confidence. 
I have great ideas. I deserve everything that I have accomplished. I am powerful. I am strong enough to stand up for myself. I go after my dreams and I am worthy of the things and opportunities that I have. I speak with confidence. I walk with confidence. I am confident in every decision that I make. I am confident and nothing no one can say or do can change that. Now, affirmation number three. Use this affirmation when you're struggling with like self-acceptance. I accept me, all of me. I accept that I am funny. I accept that I may yell a little bit too much. I accept that I have a huge heart that loves with no boundaries. I accept that I have PTSD. I accept that I am a work in process. I accept that my beauty is for me. And I accept that I made a few mistakes in my life. And I accept the responsibility for how my life is right now. And I accept the work that I need to do to become the best version of me. I accept me as a whole, inside and out. For this self-deceptance affirmation, replace that I accept statement with things that is about yourself that you need to accept. You can do what you can do that with all three of the affirmations if you choose to. Now, if you found this to be helpful and you want more useful tips like this. That could help you while you're in your self-love journey. I want to invite you to our Facebook group called Let Rose Speak Sisterhood. This is not just your basic group. We have weekly challenges, monthly lives, sessions where I answer questions about self-healing, self-love, and personal development. Inside this group, we also motivate and support each other. And this group is a no judgment zone. And the best part about it is that it's private and it's free. So if you want to join the group, you can click the link in the description or you can search us up on Facebook. Just search Let Rose Speak Sisterhood. Again, that's Let Rose Speak Sisterhood. Now, if you love the content that you just received and feel like you learned something, can you please hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications and hit the like button and leave me a comment. I reply to like the first 10. And I just want to say bye my sisters and remember to love yourself today.